everyone, Monica here, and welcome to the Spring YouTube Hop 2020. These are a list of our sponsors. If I had a thousand times, Here's the crew that made it all possible. Thank you. Like hey, I'm going to be showing you how to make this wonderful spring bird cage. Let's head on over to Design Space. Here I have already created my item. Now here are the images that I used for this craft. The main image being the bird cage, I made it 15.199 inches high. Our next SVG cut is the leaf. I made this 3.944 inches high. I will only cut one since this is going to work as a stencil. Next, I have two butterflies. The first is 3.11 inches high, and the second is smaller at 1.977 inches. The final image is a spring has sprung at 3.267 inches. Details will be listed in the comments below. Here I have the Spellbinders Rose Creation 9. I'm setting these aside by size into three groups. I'm going to use these to die cut my Fumarian. I used a light pink and a cream for this. Links for the supplies can be found in the comments below. I cut three of the larger and two of the smaller of each grouping. I wanted to give the flowers a more natural look, so I used worn lipstick and picked raspberry distress ink to blend in some color. I repeated this process on the pink fumarian on the other side as well. For the cream fumarian, I used squeezed lemonade and sponge sugar. This gave it more of a peachy appearance to the flower. I repeated this on the other side as well. For the leaves, I used Hampton dye ink, and this was a dark green. Using the leaf cut out from Cricut, I used it as a stencil and traced around it utilizing a stylus. If you don't have a stylus, you can also use a toothpick. This will create an outline that you can trim all the way around. I used my heat gun in order to give the leaf some shape. Uh, it curled in on itself with the heat. So I also used my stylus in order to create more of a curvature to the leaves as well. Time to give these flower petals a little bit of shape. We're going to roll the flower petals backwards between our fingers to give it a rounded edge. I used at first a little egg to try and give it a little bit more shape, but it didn't really work. So I continued on with my eight millimeter stylus to give it more form and just kind of use the foam pad in order to allow for it to crease and create a little bit of a cup. I repeated this process for all the flower petals. Now I'm going to pinch and roll in order to give the flower petal a bit of a crinkle. To put these together, you're going to need a little center ball in order to form your flower around it. I didn't have any of those foam ones, so I created my own by rolling out a little piece of aluminum. I then covered it with Fumarian just in case it peeked through. We're going to start with the two smaller petals. This is going to create the center and the bud. If you only wanted to create a bud, you only have to use these two. But I wanted to create a bigger flower and so I added the other three petals. Now make sure that you are overlapping them in one direction. Once you come to the final petal, you want to make sure you layer it under the first petal so that it creates a nice uniform bud. Now time to add in the second layer. Again, you're going to overlap these to create a little bit more of an open bud. As you can see here, I'm utilizing the glue gun towards the bottom or the base of the flower, so that way it allows it to open up slightly. If you wanted to have a small bud, this would be the point at which you would stop. But we're going to add a couple more layers. 
and I will follow the same process, allowing the glue to set at the bottom or the base of the bud in order to open up those leaves a little bit more. What your end product should look like. Now to attach the two leaves to it. Repeat the process again for all the other flowers. Because the butterflies were cut out of plain white cardstock, I wanted to add a little bit of color. I used cracked pistachio and worn lipstick in order to blend around the edges. Time to put the birdcage together. Here you see we have three upper portions of the birdcage. They have these little circles at the very top, which are the enclosures. And then you have three bottom pieces, these that you have here. You also have a little circle, two of them actually, that go over the top. If I had a thousand and the three bottom pieces. Then you have two large circulars which form the base, one that have little cutouts that will allow the cage to sit in. I began by laying out my bottom pieces flat and then glued them together with the open piece overlapping the closed section of the second strip. This created one long piece. Once I finished gluing the two sections together, I began on the third. Once I've given this enough time to dry, I place glue on one of the ends and roll the birdcage around in order to create one circular piece. Be sure that you apply enough pressure and allow it to dry. Allowing enough time to dry, I am now going to place on the bottom piece with the cutouts. The birdcage has little feet that will insert into here. Just make sure that you're gentle so that you don't tear any of those little feet off since they're so small and thin. Apply glue to each of those little feet and then you're going to fold them down towards the center. Now that the tabs have dried, I'm going to go ahead and glue on the bottom piece. This will give it a nice clean look. Make sure that you press down firmly onto it so that it adheres properly. I used my um, needle nose here in order to press down and create a nice clean seam all around the edges. Alright, let's get gluing that top portion. I took one of the sections and glued that all along the edge. Sorry, I went a little bit off camera for this, but it's because this was such a large project. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that all the way around and glue it down. Just make sure you hold it enough so that it adheres properly. Here I added the second section of the top portion and I'm gonna use those little circles to, as a guide actually, to uh, adhere the top portion on. It should overlap right at that little circle there. Just make sure you apply enough glue and enough pressure so that it stays in place, as you're going to be lifting this up slightly in order to add glue towards the bottom all the way around. You'll repeat this process with the third section as well. Here you have it all done up. 
Now I'm going to lay this on the side for the purpose of the video in order to um, put together the top piece. Before closing up the top, I wanted to add in my hydrangea. I used hot glue in order to sit it down at the bottom of the birdcage. Make sure you use something to press it down so that it adheres properly. I'm ready to close up the top. I used a brad and one of the small circular pieces in order to do this. I used hot glue in order to adhere the brad to the circular piece. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to have to lay this down as it wasn't quite so simple for me to do it quite so close to the camera. But as you can see, I'm looping the pieces onto the brad. Please note that I'm loading the brad from within the bird cage. I will do this with half the bars and then I will load the other half from outside of the bird cage. That way it creates a nice little sandwich. Here I'm going to go ahead and load the other half and as you can see I'm going to load it from the top. Time to decorate the birdcage. I used this floral wired ribbon to create a nice and simple bow. Now this is a light fabric. So I didn't want to use anything too heavy so it doesn't crumple my birdcage. Although I did use 120 pound weight paper so that it would be nice and stiff. Fold over the two ends so that way you can create a nice little fishtail for the end of the ribbon. Using my glue gun, I'm just going to go ahead and add a dab of glue to adhere it to the top. Here is where I'm going to add my Fumarian leaves, the long leaves that we cut out with this stencil. This way I know exactly where they're going to lie so that they're not hidden necessarily by the bow. I snipped off the wire from the flowers and used my hot glue gun to place them where I would like. Now I used one large one medium and two small at the top and one large one medium at the bottom of the cage. The last of the details are the butterflies. I simply folded them inwards so that it had a little bit of dimension and glued the small one at the center of the cage and then the large one at the top. Oh, I almost forgot the sentiment. Make sure you don't forget to glue that on. For more videos and tutorials like these, don't forget to subscribe. Visit the blog for more information at www.hardcraftpaper.com. Thanks for watching Hardcraft Paper. Oh my